1960. I need you to go back there to prevent the assassination of John F. Kennedy. It's such a, it's a really tr tricky question because obviously we can't time travel. And, um, and it's one of the big questions of our series. If you can change the past, should you? And will change, you know, changing something that seems obviously for the good actually turn out good? That's, that's one of the central questions of our, of our series. I don't know whether Oswald was the man who did it. You'll figure out the rest when you get there. Sometimes, you know, something horrible happens and then we, to, to work against that, we you know make things better. So it's it's a really it's a really tricky question, and I, I think a good you know sort of party question. CIA is pulling the trigger. What do we do now? Then you kill Oswald. I've been trying to think about this a little bit. That um, now that I've lived you know 37 years, um, what are some of the defining moments of my life? And I guess. I guess because I am so sort of work oriented or, you know, because um, my creative life is so important to me, I guess it's the moments I got to, to work with, you know, my heroes and people that have inspired me and um, working on movies like Milk and with Gus Van Sant and 127 Hours with Danny Boyle and Spring Breakers with Harmony Corinne. Those, I mean, to me, those stand out as, you know, some of the more defining experiences in my life. Well, I'm very happy with, you know, with my situation. You know, I, I teach, I get to make movies and, and sh television shows, and um, I get to write, and I, you know, get to, you know, do all the things that I love. Um, so, short of, you know, getting sick of all that, I, I hope that, my future looks a lot like my past. Everything you say is a lie.